Hey everybody, it's Brad. I got a quick Masterworks 3 video for you today. Uh, we're going to talk about something called specialty fills. Uh, I have not really played with these that much and uh, I was just goofing around in the program trying to figure out what to make a video for a class on and I um, kind of rediscovered how this works and I thought, eh, that's kind of neat. So I'm going to show you how it works. Basically what it is is you've got some patterns that are built into the program under your artwork tab here. So if you click on artwork, it's got the little pencil with the dots. We click on that and we go down to here where it says patterns. So you click on patterns and we have these eight different patterns to choose from. Um, I'm just going to pick one of them. Uh, let's say this one. I think this is, yeah, this has got the scallops. Um, so this pattern using the specialty fill can be fit to any shape that I want to throw on top of it. Um, and let me show you what I mean by that, because uh, that's probably not really all that clear. What what this is, is I can actually take a shape, I'll uh, go back to my artwork, and I'll use a basic shape like a ellipse here for the, for the first one. Use ellipse and click and drag and draw my oval shape in there. So I can actually cut out the rest of this design so that only the part that is inside the circle remains. Um, so to make this work you have to have your shape as the second thing in the line. Okay, So if you see your pattern after your shape then it doesn't work. So we need to have, like I do right now, I've got the pattern and then the shape. Okay, so that's right. If you have the shape and then the pattern, then it doesn't work. So what you have to do is have both of these selected. So we'll just hold down the control key and select both of them. So we've got both of them selected in my sequence view over here. Go over and right click on them and choose specialty fill. And look what that does. It actually has created an area inside my circle that's just filled in by these scallops. Um, and now I can take the scallop part and turn it into a running stitch if I wanted to. I'll put that in 3D so we can see it a little better. So I just selected all the parts that were scallops and I turned them into a running stitch and then I could do maybe take the outer part and turn that into a satin stitch say to make, make it like a nice frame. So then I could put another design inside of here or maybe I want to fit um, you know just like one of these patterns into a quilt block or something like that. Uh, let me show you with a, with a different pattern and a different shape. Um, so say I want to um, fit one of these patterns into a quilt block, right? And my quilt block is six inches by six inches. So we'll get a rectangle. We'll draw our rectangle in. We'll go to our properties and the transform under our properties here where we can set our size. We're going to turn off maintain aspect ratio so that we can change the sides individually. We'll set the width to six inches and the height to six inches. Okay. Hit apply. We've got a perfectly six by six inch square here. Uh, and then I go up to my artwork and I'm going to choose a pattern. This time I'll choose, uh, say we'll, we'll, well, we'll pick this little flowery pattern here. Uh, I guess you call this feathers. I don't know. I'm not a quilter. So we'll grab, we'll pull this up and just kind of plop it right on top of our rectangle. But of course, what did I say earlier? We can't have the shape before the pattern. So we're going to left click in our sequence view on our shape drag it down on top of the pattern and you see they switch sides there. Okay, So now we've got the pattern, the shape, we select both of them, hold down the control key and select both of them in the sequence view, right click, choose specialty fill and now I could get rid entirely of my blue square that was just to make this shape and now I've actually got an embroidery design in this shape if I turn it into stitches so we'll apply a run stitch to that and see now this is a, a design that I could I could just drop this right on top of a quilt block and have this neat quilted effect and then for different blocks I could take it and rotate it different ways so it looks different so I take this one and I could sew this one out like this I could save another one I go to modify and rotate it and I could save another one with it rotated a different orientation and then I could go and sew that out on different blocks and make a cool little quilted effect. Um, you can also combine uh, a specialty fill with an embroidery to make like a, a nifty little border around uh, an existing embroidery design. So uh, let me go ahead, I'll delete this and we're going to open up a design that I have. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, what do I want to do? Um, here we go, we can do Fiona from Fiona and Cake. This is a TV show that um, my daughter watches called Adventure Time, and this is a character from it. We'll make her a little bigger because she's kind of small. Uh, okay, so I want to put a nifty little border around her with a with a quilty kind of background. So I'll go back to the artwork tab, and I'll choose an ellipse again. Go ahead and 
just kind of drag that so that it frames her nicely okay and I actually should have got my pattern first because I'm gonna have to reorder this remember the um, the the pattern has to be first and then the shape uh, so we're gonna go to artwork and choose patterns I'll choose yet a different pattern this time okay so we've got this kind of pattern here you can scale it up and down so I could make this larger or smaller uh, like if I want to have it be a little more dense in there I can make it a little smaller and then we need to have our oval on top of our, our oval after our um, our artwork our uh, pattern rather so we're gonna select both of these things right click choose specialty fill there we go and now I could turn um, let's see I'll turn the outer part into a satin stitch make it like a nice border uh, and then we'll turn the inner part into a running stitch and then we're gonna take the inner part and drag it so that it sews up first. So I'm just gonna left click and hold and I'm holding down on my mouse button I'm just gonna drag it all the way to the top so that Fiona is actually on top of the stitching and we'll turn the whole thing 3D and you see what kind of effect that made. Um, so I thought that was pretty neat a uh, little nifty way you can add uh, add something to some designs or um, create cool uh, quilty looking designs. Um, so that's called a specialty fill and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.